Hi, I am Dr. Hiranapa, pulmonologist practicing at Inspire Speciality Clinic at Sakarnagar. Blood in the sputum means it can be a first sign, it can be a simple trivial thing. Sometimes we get a bronchitis or viral infection also, we get blood in the sputum. It can be as trivial as it. So in our country when somebody is having the blood in the sputum and it might be a small amount of streaky hemoptysis or it is called as hemoptysis coughing out blood. So this can be because of any coagulation abnormality if you are taking any drugs like ecosprin or uh, any other drugs. If you are stopping that drug that is enough. Sometimes it can be really serious matter. So in our country in a young patients it can be tuberculosis and any pneumonias we can get a rusty sputum. And sometimes in a smokers in elderly this can be a first feature of lung cancer. And there are other many causes for rare causes of blood in the sputum. Usually, we just go look for associated symptoms in blood in the sputum. If they have a fever, chest pain and cough of short duration, it might be pneumonia. So if it is subacute, history means it's long duration and they have associated cough, evening rise of temperature, night sweats and they are exposed to a TB patients, they are staying in a overcrowded place it can be a first manifestation of TB which requires further evaluation. So in terms of cancer, we need to do further testing. X-ray is the first test we do and blood test, blood grouping. Sometimes it can be massive hemoptysis, more than 500 ml coughing out heavily and the BP can go down. They may end up in an emergency. They almost require like intubation on ventilation also and correction with the blood. There are some emergency procedures. If they are, somebody is bleeding, they might require a surgically removal of a part of a lung. It can be fungal infections because of the immunosuppressed host. That can be a possibility and bronchiectasis is one of the cause for hemoptysis. We do something called as bronchial artery embolization. Even that might be a reason for blocking the airways where blood supply to a particular region is affected. That can reduce the blood in the sputum. So we have to know the cause for the blood in the sputum. Sometimes we arrest, we localize the area of bleeding. It's in the right lung, left lung. We intubate, secure the separate lung and then go for a surgery because this is really an emergency. So this is the commonest ominous sign. It might be a premonitory symptom for anything big happening. So that's the hemoptysis we should never neglect. So sometimes it requires a massive amount of blood transfusions and admission. So any blood in the sputum should not be neglected.